All right, welcome back to our third episode of TPL Gaming. Let's play Remothered. Um, so we did the first two episodes. You know, if this, if you're just jumping in now, you know we're doing for the month of October. Let's play of horror games. We're doing Remothered right now, and uh, you know, going to make as much progress as we can tonight in one episode, and then this Saturday. Um, or this weekend sometime, you know, we're going to do a longer, a longer stream, and we're hopefully going to try to beat this game by, by the beginning of next week. Um, so with that being said, you know, let's jump right into it. I did, someone who did watch though, did tell me that they wanted to brighten this up a little bit, uh, which I, I get that. I, I went back and watched it. It did seem a little bit dark. So I'll put it, I'll just put it up on 60% for now and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, now, when we last when we last left off, I made some progress. We're in the house now with the killer, and I think we're like in the thick of it now. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. There, I, I noticed some different objectives, doors that were locked, different things that were needed. I think. Let me check. There was in the room last episode where we found the um, Mrs. Felton in the bathroom. In the room, the the clog of the the tub was drained, so we needed some way to unclog that. And I, I think before I left off the last save, I found like a plunger or something that I could find was at the bottom of the tub. Um, you know, who knows what the hell that's going to be. Oh, okay. I see that now. To find an alternate way out. Investigate the disappearance. Alright, in the drain pipe, that's... That's what I'm going to go do now. And then, yeah, what's this? You've picked up a diversion item. How do I use it? I forget how to use it. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay. And I'm all, ooh, ooh, yeah, I don't want that. Music box is bad. Was this door open? Is the, I don't think there's a map. Okay, we'll take the rope here. We'll investigate this room and then we'll just go up, we'll just go upstairs. Now, when we last episode, he he stabbed me a couple of times. I stabbed him a couple of times. I don't know. I'm assuming that the health is like you just regenerate, um, and I'm assuming that you can't kill him. I'm assuming the um, like in Resident Evil One, when you used a a defense item, you could kill like a zombie with it. I'm assuming that. I'm assuming I won't be able to do that here. Oh man. Okay.
I slightly forget how to get back to his room. Save point there. Okay, so I know where two of the saves are now. Which is good. Can I sh sh yeah. All right, here we go, making progress. Is it a key? How did you drop in the key in the tub, man? I don't. I, if you're wondering why my my hood's up, it's just my mic is more comfortable on my head um, with a hat or a hood. What did I do? What did I find the object in the drain pipe? Find the object dropped. I dropped it. What do, you, what do you mean I dropped it? Oh. Come on. Try find the object. I dropped it. I dropped it in the drain pipe. So now I gotta go. Mm, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Defense item. I want that. It fits. It's a small goods lift that communicates. Can I? Nah. Okay. Um, metal cable. What could I use that for? Uh, something eventually. Oh, okay. I got it. I get it. Alright. Time to make our way back downstairs. Let me know, you know, in the comments, too. Or on Twitter, or... You know, wherever you want to let me know at. Um, how the volume is with, you know, my voice, with the game. Um, I definitely... It's, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit hard to tell beforehand, so, you know, if there's ever, if there's anything you want to change there, let me know. Ah, the smart thing is probably to go for the pillar. Because I can hide behind the pillar. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I know they give us the diversion items, but my... My main play here... Is going to be to try to... Just not... Use, I mean, I'll use them if I see them, but I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. I should have looked around the corner before I went down. I should have. Okay. Let's see...
Oh, thank you. Down here. Um. batteries. I guess the cable isn't any good. Uh, I found it. Did I? Oh, there it is. Leverage. We gotta get some leverage. We gotta get some leverage. What's happening here? I don't remember seeing anything. Press A to upgrade your defense item. Alright. It's fine. I don't remember seeing a way... The only thing I can think of to open the grate would be like a pipe or something, like leverage. That's the only. That's the only thing I can think of personally. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. That's a defense item. This door is locked. It's fine. I'm a little bit baffled here. A little bit baffled. Ah. There's no way the metal cable, right? There's no way. Is that all it says? Just find a way to raise the girl in the basement? I don't know how. There we go. Glad I went back. Okay. Okay, now I need to activate something. Okay. So now we go upstairs, activate it. Go upstairs, we activate it, open it, come back down. Come back downstairs, grab it. And then find out what it opens. That's the plan.
Now, where the... I remember. Never mind, I remember. This seems like an excellent hiding spot. I should go to the corner every time instead of, yeah, 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 for sure. We'll save just in case. We'll save just in case. That's all. We're just doing our due diligence. Okay, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Ah, oh, man. So, if you're thinking to yourself that you can't see anything, neither can I. And the flashlight seems like a pretty bad idea. Um,. So we're going to try to turn the bower back on somehow. And I think I know where the power is. But the, the, the circuit breaker needed batteries or something. Which doesn't make a ton of sense, but... Power generator. I don't believe I remember that. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to see. Um I don't see him at all. I think he went downstairs. I think he's gonna be where I want where I have to go. We'll um we'll take it a little slow here. Power went out, Mr. Felton just has an apron on, his whole ass is out. Horrible situation. That music means he's close. That music means he's really close. I'm, I'm, I think. How did I do that? That was actually really cool. Maybe I have to open doors when I'm crouched for now on. No way. No way. I don't even get the, the key because the power went out? It would make sense for the generator to be in the basement, right? I 
that would make almost too much sense. And if it's not in the basement, then I can only assume that it'll be on the first floor. I'm going to go to the fuse box and we're going to see what's, what's happening. His vision has to be impaired with mine, though, right? And I'm assuming, you know, he has a limited field of view. I don't. So I should outwit him, basically. Mr. Felton, you're going to get outwitted today. He must have went upstairs. Okay. We're chilling. What is that? Can I sneak through there? Before we do this, before we do this, hiding spot right there. Okay. Okay. I actually I saw that before. It's great, and the basement should be open now. And I think he went upstairs. Dude, relax. Can't take anymore. What do you? Don't talk like that. How are we gonna get out of this situation alive if you don't have confidence? Okay. We'll be okay. We're gonna be okay, Jody. She's only scared when she hides. Well, that's the key. Then we just won't hide and we won't be scared. Boom. Is that okay? It's a head over a bowl. Get the key, get the key, get the key, get the key, get the key. We're okay. No, you won't. He's not gonna get me. 100% wash. Christ, Clarissa, run. In there. You weren't invited. 
I don't understand the minigame. I don't understand the minigame. You didn't explain the minigame to me. You didn't explain the minigame to me. You didn't explain the minigame to me. You can't do that when you... <laughs> Come on. Explain the minigame to me before you, you do that. The ball, the circle moved. Do I use the analog stick to keep it in the center? Was there a button? I didn't see everything. It happened too fast. It happened too fast. <sighs> okay. Find whatever you need to activate the stairs controller in the basement. Find and go through the lost film. Pendulum clock key. There was also Let me I don't know what does a what's a pendulum clock? Hold on a second. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what Pen, pen, chillum. Now that's a grandfather clock. What is a pendulum clock? Okay. Can you see that? That is a pendulum clock. That's what we're looking for. Dude, oh my god. Explain the minigame. Explain the minigame to me. What? What? Explain the minigame to me. Just explain it one time. Just explain the minigame one time to me. This is total... Shit. Nope. Who likes to snoop inside people's house? Would you like me to enjoy your stupid game? Yes. Yeah, look under there, freak. Look. There's nothing left to eat. It's all mold. You got a saggy ass, bitch. Oh no. Still here? No, no, no. That was dip game, dude. No pendulum clock there. Oh no. Oh no. Check out what I'm about to do. <gasps> Hold on, I found the I found the clock. Okay. Maintain maintain circle in the thing. Maintain I don't know what that means. Look what I'm about to do though. I'm about 
Honestly, this dude is a huge fucking asshole. Huge idiot. I despise this villain. I can I can see why a part of me was just thinking maybe there should be more consequences when he finds you underneath you know like hiding in something like you should take a hit or something what I'm actually gonna do though because I'm getting my ass kicked um, like I, yeah I didn't even have to use a defensive item yes whoa The glass is gonna break when I heal myself? What's up with that? That's totally not cool at all. But I come on, we're making progress. And I'm telling you, I might I'm not gonna beat it tonight. I probably got like fifteen or so minutes left in me tonight. But this weekend we're gonna solve this mystery and we're going to uh we're gonna put Mr. Felon behind bars. That's a fact. You okay? There we go. I was gonna be. I was gonna say. No! Look at my reflexes. My reflexes are unbelievable. Yeah, give me that, yo, because he's gonna be coming ASAP. You picked up a battery. Perfect. Um, now what I gotta do is go back up to his study. When I get to his study, we replace the. So look. We go up to his room first. We do the hypnos hypnosis session. And then we go back to the basement. Alright, come on. While he's doing that, we gotta go. We gotta move, move, move. We gotta move, move, move. I'm assuming once I get far enough away, I, I can just run from him because, you know, if not, then stupid. In some games, though, you can get penalized for that. Alien isolation, for one. Oh my god. What the fuck? Jesus. Mr. Felon. Yo, get on. Scared the shit out of me. Alright, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We'll go right. This was a bad idea. Come on, no. Can God damn it. God damn it. Dude, that really does not work. It doesn't work. Oh my god, this... Mr. Felon, leave me alone. Alright, there we go. I gotta run into it to open it up right away. If I can figure out this mini game, this dude will, would I never catch me. He would never catch me if I could figure out the mini game. I don't. Is it the? Is it the right? Oh my god! 
Yeah, you pointed me away if you're hysterical, dude. You're so funny. Hate this guy. You're an asshole. Alright, come on, come on, come on, get in there. Here we go, come on. Come on. I right, put the battery in there. Dr. Fun, I do not have the strength or courage to keep up with this story. Therapy is not bringing you anywhere, and what has happened today is something very serious. I've got rid of the film. Reviewing your ses sessions of mesmerization can only hurt your mental health, and I wish it would never end up in the wrong hands. Don't try to take it back. I've thrown it in the oven. I've also replaced the... Oh, okay. I've read that already. Who the hell is Gloria? If only I could find... Can I take the in the oven? Is that what that said? Where the hell was the oven at? Go to the kitchen, get to the oven, get the film. I'm assuming the film... The oven is a really bizarre place to put the film. It doesn't add up to me, personally. Oh, where's this joker at? I saw him. He's being a punk. Okay, here's the kitchen, which is good. Um, let's move right for the oven. Move right for the oven. The oven is stuck with her holes to hook up some handle. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Is that an actual joke? That's unbelievable. Oh, what's that?
just going to break things. We're just going to break all these things. 100% he's coming. He heard it. For fact. For a fact. Come on, get the handle on there. Bust this, bust this baby open. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. It's moths. What are we doing, dude? We're fine, dude. We're, we're grown. Yeah, dude. No big deal. Oh, look at this. You are such a sucker. There's nothing left to, to eat. It's all molded. Yeah, that's what happens when you try me with a sorry ass villain like that. I hide behind the table. Bozo. <laughs> sucker. That handle was help was well hidden. I was in there a couple times and I never noticed it. Right, let's see if I can quickly get back upstairs, get to his study. I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm pretty good at the game. Pretty good at the game. That's all I'll say. Alright, let's find out what this sick bastard was doing. Oh, wow. You put all that in the oven. Okay. Alrighty. Cutscene. This is very loud. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton is the caretaker. With a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I, I can't. Stay calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? How are they related? Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? She put him in oblivion forever, maybe? Celeste. On the swing. Celeste, can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. My, my fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought it. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in, in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but... The man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. 
a week. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She should have never been born. My father, he helped me to prevent me from her. That was very disturbing and weird. Very disturbing and weird. I am um, disturbed, to say the least. Is that in my neck? Kill this. Kill him. Kill him. Kill the bastard. Some things die and stay dead forever. What? Other things die and just linger in time. Uh, sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar! You said that she came back, didn't you? <laughs> you don't understand. You have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. <laughs> and didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. <laughs> Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. Oh, this dude sucks. It was one of those arranged marriages where only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It was Jennifer. Who the fuck is Jennifer? You came in. God bless you. Thanks to you, I... I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No, can't be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. Disgusting. Murderer. You're a murderer. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just he killed his daughter? orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. I have no idea what's happening here. I have no clue. I can't tell if this dude is like a sicko who who did very sick things to his daughter, or if he just murdered his daughter, or if he murdered his wife. I'm greatly confused. He knew what? That I was going to break free? Good job, genius. <laughs> Who are you? There's only one guy. I beg you, Joanna. 
<laughs> Mr. Felon, let's get the hell out of here, bro. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What was that? Did he say that was his sister? The Red Nun. What? What is the Red Nun? The man burns the video and keeps putting his ass so no way. It was so felt an obeying and kneeling obsequiously before a mysterious figure that promises to free him from his torment goes into the girl's bedroom and kills her. So that's Jennifer he killed. Rosemary manages to free Elsa from the loop, but right before she gets to the studio door, she is assaulted by the same nun portrayed in the painting, swarming with moths and speaking with hoarse and broken voice, calling her sister. What? Okay, we gotta get to a save point because. I don't know what the hell is going on. That was pretty scary. That part was kind of scary. I did not see that coming at all. Not at all. Ah, dude. That was insane. Oh, man. Is the game, is the game safe? We'll do it twice just to be safe. Um. All right. Well, that episode that wraps up our third episode here. The Red Nun is apparently involved now. Um, it went from like a typical like guy probably murdered his daughter, probably murdered his wife, was also just probably demented in some way with this disease that maybe his partner gave him. That's where I was up until tonight. Now there's like some supernatural conjuring type type thing going on here the red nun i don't know who that is but you know we're, we're, we're gonna try to figure it out um, i'll see if i can fit an episode in before the weekend tomorrow we're doing a podcast for a pot has no name which you can check out on the painted lines um you know, when, you know, just while we're on the paid lines, a lot of great content has been coming out this week with the start of the NBA season. You know, make sure you check out the other playlist on the on the painted lines YouTube page, and uh, you know, see what we've been putting out there because um, you know Jason Blevins, Chris Diebler, Diebler, I mean, um, has been doing like fantastic work with the YouTube page. Um, you know, subscriptions and views are through the roof. 
um, you know, hoping that translates here to, to TPL Gaming. Um, but yeah, yeah. So keep an eye out for for maybe an episode on maybe Friday if we can fit it. But if not Friday, definitely Saturday during the day. Um, we'll we'll do a we'll do a pretty long stream there, um, and hopefully we can make some some serious progress into the game. Um, so, you know, thanks everybody for watching and for following along through the first three episodes of this series. Um, until